Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, what this is is a building automation game that uh, our main goal is to build a Dyson Sphere around a star to generate power to provide energy to a galaxy-wide energy grid. It's actually quite an interesting idea. I thought I'd check it out. I haven't really actually played it. I tried to I just basically load up the game and wanted to see what it was all about and ready to get going. Uh, it's quite interesting they do have this milky way map now uh, th i've already loaded up the game so it's already loaded up now i've had to uh, redo a recording you know bad audio as always uh i don't know how this turned out but anyways uh this is the map of the milky way that they have here it is very vast as you can see i don't know exactly where we would be uh if this was real milky way i think it would be like right around here somewhere but uh, as you can see, there is one, almost 1 1.2 million Dyson spheres generating 1. Uh, 140 billion megawatts of power. And there's apparently 5 million million shields or 5 million meters of solar, solar sails going around. But each one of these dots is actually a Dyson sphere. There's actually a star in each every one of these. Uh, like I can click on this one here. There's one there. There's one there, and it tells you how much each how much power each one's generating. This one's doing 116 gigawatts. Uh, that one here is uh, 6.4 gigawatts. Uh, it's quite the interesting concept, and I thought I'd check it out and see how it goes. Anyways, we'll go ahead and start a new game. I I believe we just start here. I think I met check to see if you can go any further, and it was like things were locked. But there's going to be a tutorial. Uh, I kind of got confused on the last one. I didn't realize I was supposed to actually do something. I was talking during the uh, tutorial, so I missed it. Anyway. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time? I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Got a little video games, don't you? And they're getting so real. I was watching. Uh, Everything here is yours. I'm gonna do an AI simulator. They're using a Matrix Five tech demo world map, and it was just unbelievable. Step by step, by using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain Homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. No, I don't think I actually drive it. I'd... Oh, maybe it'll actually let me pick my landing spot. Oh, that's actually very nice. I like that. I, I wasn't aware of that. Anyway, let's just go land. Let's go pick a nice little spot here with some trees. Some of the stuff I've seen on the, the Steam the store page was incredible. Just watching like all the delivery of the materials to go build a, the Dyson Sphere. It almost has like an eco feel to it, like the, set, the small little planet that you're working on. But like a lot of games are like that these days. And yes, everything is random because it's completely different than what I had before. Oh, the other two times actually. It was like the third world I've checked out. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control it. And make them walk around and move around the world. What is this? That's stone. Yeah, there we go, and then uh, I can use the mouse arrows, or like you said, I can right-click on certain things, and that's just sets. To recycle the space capsule. Right -click on it to recycle. All right, let's get over here. Oh yeah, I can't run, but we can jump, and apparently after I upgrade the engine, I get a jetpack too. So let's go ahead and recycle that. And there's more tutorial. Don't worry. You can use the same operation to collect resources such as trees, gravel, etc. I was gonna say you can hold shift and right click. Hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. And then just cue things up. Several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen 
to open the cabin to view them. Can I do the tutorial? What else can I get here? Uh, hmm. Oh, we'll grab some copper. Down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yep. That you can. Oh. Oh. I walk and he, uh, he cancels his actions. Anyway. Cool. Like some copper. And then continue on. New tutorial push G. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Yeah, I actually missed that earlier. So the, this is how it goes. You go in here and activate it. And then you have to actually produce items to do it and you can uh, have it to use inventory items or other ways but I uh, leave that there and it'll consume as you produce them. Now it's supposed to tell me something here but I don't think it is but I'm actually supposed to be opening up the, the replicator and actually crafting these magnetic coils and I need these to actually complete the research. Go ahead and produce that. And then as as they are being produced, it should get consumed. Energy is required in all mecha activities. Ah. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom of oh. the to open the mecha panel. I didn't realize and that. Resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Interesting. Cool. Customize the armor and all that stuff too. Uh, fuel generation, lack of fuel, core power, all that stuff. Sweet. Alright. Uh, okay, we have that. Get rid of that message. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Alright, what do we need? Key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. Hmm. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. I think I want to gather. Try holding down the shift key. Oh, that's nice. Alright, what is that? Hmm. Well, let's go get some copper. Since I know it's here. Uh, oh, there's a multiplier too. Oh. See if we can min max this. There we go. Alright. Insufficient required items. You can click the replicator button at the bottom right of the screen to open the panel and manually replicate these items. Okay, what do I need? What's it telling me I need? Uh does it tell me what I need? Let me figure this out. And supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. I didn't realize it was still building. All right, so yeah, now he's telling me I need to build power. I also got to get my mix powered up too. Now, uh, how do I? What do I use for fuel here? I'm not too sure. All right, I need to build power. So uh, let's go into the fabricator. Oh, not the bill. Oh, yes. Actually, what is this? That is. This is our. Hang on. There we go. That's going to be a winning all. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power. Oh, hey, I'm generating power. Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Okay, so the tower is to extend it. Okay. So, might as well place that down. Ah, interesting. Oh, oh, well, uh. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. Yeah, I gotta move it. It's just out of range here. Oh, this smack moves so slow. Click on it 
to view the current power grid information. All right, I'm trying to dismantle it here. Uh, wait, what's it say? Hang on, let me try to figure out how to move this. Okay, well, I've decided I'm just going to build another Tesla, Tesla tower because it's actually relatively cheap. Uh, I can actually build one right now. All right, and I'll go ahead and place it right there. Get maximum coverage. Okay, so oh, I was gonna say, why am I not generating power? And then I realized that I was building that. Okay, what does it want me to do now? Click that. Okay, I got achievements. Uh. All right. Let me see what it wants me to do now. Well, apparently I can actually just throw logs into the mech suit and charge it that way. That works. Uh, not too sure what it wants me to do. I haven't really decided, figured it out. Maybe maybe it's time to actually get some mining stuff down. Uh, there is really, there is really no like actual guide. It's just telling me things as I go. Maybe it's time to research something. See what we have here. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Okay, well, I can't really seem to find anything that's giving me any real direction of what to be doing here. So, uh, I'm just going to do what I normally do. Uh, let's go ahead and start building something. Uh, I have looked at the cost of the, the, the mine machine. I'm going to place one down on the coal over here so I actually have power. Uh, I have most of the things I need. I just have to make, uh, what is it, one, two circuit boards, two, two years. So I'll make two of those. Oh, two of those. And then let's see if I can queue up crafting. I can. All right. Then go ahead and produce one of those. And then when I have it, there we go. Let's uh, put that on the. Hmm. I probably should get coal more than anything. See if we can get a nice. Deposit. Oh, there's a nice one there. All right, and you are good. Now I got to build another Tesla tower. Uh, I don't have iron. Hmm. Can I actually produce iron? I can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so used to clicking multiple times on games. All right, we'll do that. We will build another a Tesla tower. I make two. I I'll make three, I guess. And make another wind turbine. Just because we're gonna need the power. Alright, now let's see. Let's see if we can get you there. And I guess we'll do that. And we'll connect another one onto the network. Alright, so you are producing this iron? Oh, yeah, it's coal. Coal at an alarming rate. And that copper over here. That's coming out. I gotta get uh, some sort of like uh, conveyor system going. And also smelt it. Now, what is this? Is this actually iron? Or is this just stone? That's just stone. Why are you not highlighting? Oh. Instruction. Okay, that's iron there. What is this? That's going to be stone. Uh, okay, and then I'll build another one here. So I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so I got them all going. I got a nice little steady supply of everything going. It's actually filling up pretty quick, so that's good. Uh, I do want to get into the technology zone and see what else is going to be next. So we need, do need to get into like uh, assembly eventually, uh, but we also do need... Uh, metallurgy, which I believe is going to be, yes, an arc smelter. All right, well, let's go ahead and take care of this. Uh, there's also, a, there's actually upgrades to the mech suit, too, that we can look at as well. Uh, like this one here, it's a uh, uh, power upgrade, and then if I zoom out, you can see there's actually quite a bit to up upgrade uh, Icarus, I should say. Uh, see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and cue that too. 
then so now I gotta make gotta make ten of these. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I noticed that when you have, or is it just doing maximum? Actually, I need six. Sure, it's working. All right, now, uh, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, I want to. What do I want to do? Let's have a look at the research a little bit more. Yeah, that's uh, mech suit upgrades. So that is doing that. That's going to get me the smelter. Uh, what do we have for power? Uh, let's see. Plasma control. Okay. Plasma. Oh, God. Oh, wireless power. Interesting. Electronic magic. And they drive. Hmm. What about here? Oh, basic logistics. That's what I want. And I guess we'll do that too. So let me get all this stuff taken care of and I'll be back. Now that's an interesting thing. When you go and click on the iron, uh, let's say the copper and get for instance, it tell you, tells you it comes from copper ore. And then it could be used for the magnetic coils or the circuit board. Same with the iron too. I'll show that it'd be used for the gear or the Tesla tower or the wind turbine or the mining machine. That's pretty good. And apparently this is used for building foundations, but I haven't actually figured it out yet. And it's probably because I don't have a research yet. But we can build a smelter. I'm currently researching that. I'm also working on basic logistics. So uh, we can get some conveyor action going. So I'll bring you back when it's all done. So I'm looking at the technology tree a little bit more. And it just seems that there is actually, um, you know, research components that we're going to have to start making just like all the other games. And this one here, it happens to be an electromagnetic matrix. Uh, this is what's going to allow us to get into like the, the next technology because this all actually requires these. And then, of course, those. And then sure if we go further down here. Yeah. Okay, I see where this is going. Oh, yeah, it's going to be go big or go home or... In this case, go big or go back to another star. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's what it's gonna be. So I think what we'll do is uh, we'll get we'll get everything set up here and, uh, for like basic auto smelting and stuff like that. Oh, what am I doing here? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, anyway, let's get this all set up and then we'll call this one here and continue on the next episode. So I have research conveyors, uh, as you can see. Where are they? Oh, I still gotta make them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be for that. So I gotta build, make 10 gears. Make that. And then I gotta build another. What's it using those? Am I missing something here? Kind of weird that it's using up motherboard. Uh, maybe. Early axes, what can you say? They will make four more of those. And then that should get me conveyors. Now, hopefully they're not too expensive. Best thing is, uh, what it was, is you, I was looking at this, you can go into a map, the uh, planetary view here. And of course you can rotate the planet all the way around. And you can literally wrap around the planet. So you have a planetary, uh, planet-wide factory. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's got conveyors. Now, I received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Yes. Thank you. That's what I was planning on doing. But in the planetary view, if I keep scrolling back out, it'll take me to this, uh, the, the star map, which is, I guess... Uh, my little section of the galaxy. It takes you out here, and then it shows you all the different stars nearby, and I'm, a, I'm guessing I can go to these stars if I need the resources. Not really sure how in-depth this game goes, but... You go out further, and I'll actually show you where I am in the Milky Way. Or I'll take you out to the Milky Way. I don't really know which cluster is mine, but... Yeah, it... Likes to give you the full full grand scale of things. Anyway, let's see what those conveyors cost. I'm sure, they're expensive. That's no, not too bad. Just a whole lot of iron. 
All right, well, let me uh, craft some stuff and I'll be back. Actually, did I get a, is that a container? It is. Ah, I need a stone too. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I don't know how I managed to make five of them, but I did. So let's go see how this works. Now, is there actually like imports and exports on this? Doesn't appear to be. All right, I'll do one. Uh, you built a smelter which can smelt basic materials such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it ah so you do need a sorters and conveyor belts so each one will only do one all right so that is good well we don't have to worry about uh, sorters uh let's see here i have 20 conveyor belts that can be enough no it's not now one thing i did actually notice is uh, apparently it does queue up all the items you need i go and make conveyor belts and i did actually do the plates and the uh, gears for me so let me get this set up uh, i might get a few more windmills down maybe we'll move things around set up a wind farm and then uh, we'll call this one here okay i am just about down here i decided to place i got two smelters down one for each one i've been making a couple of containers uh, maybe let's get rid of these trees here oh hang on i queue this up get rid of these trees so i got some room here and I keep forgetting that if I move, by canceling the actions. Uh, let me clear these trees out for now. Watch the big guy do his work. Get a lot of fuel out of it. Oh, he missed one. There we go. Now, let's, uh, well, like I said, I wanted to move these. Now, how do I move them? Is it actually going to let me dismantle it? Oh, yeah. This. Aha. Okay, do that. Do that. Now, I do ha did make four more, so I have six of them. And let's put a, put a wind farm there. What is that? I'll go check that out in a second here. Oh, they need a space, do they? Interesting. Too close to another wind tunnel. Oh, wow. They have to do like a grid. Like a line, so it lines them up like that. Okay, and do that one, and... Need better foundation. Okay, we'll put this one up here. All right, now I think I have to put one more, one more Tesla tower down. I actually hit the right button. Did I make more? Oh, that's the only thing I didn't make. All right. Um, make two more, just because. Of, all right, now containers. See here, I made two containers. I have no idea how these work. Leave a little bit of room for conveyors. Yeah, can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Now, how do these work? Conveyor belt. All you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Uh, well, it's not connecting to anything. What's going on here? Hmm. I have to get this out. Okay, I figured it out. So basically, you got to use uh, the uh, the sorter. Now, the sorter basically works like uh, the arm that you find on like Factorio and stuff like that. 
But what you do is you choose your starting destination. So you could have the conveyor belt coming along the line here. You have these two smelters here, and each one will only pick up what you specify that they take. So if I go from here to the here, it will do that, and it will take in whatever that this needs. And this one just happens to be set to uh, iron uh, copper ingots. Now, in theory, if I do this to that, it'll do that, and then I have to do one from here to here. And you need power, which means I need to put that other Tesla coil there. And that will move into here. So that's how it is. Uh, also, building, uh, apparently it's drones from my personal unit, so I actually have to go down to wherever they're building to get everything done. Anyway, let me go get everything else uh, connected, and I shall return. And there we have it. Everything is now fully up and running. I have full automation of my copper. How much do I have in here? I have about 350. I got the iron just started going. I forgot to put a sorter there, and the coal is running fine because I'm gonna need it for my suit. Also, it's gotta get some upgrades for this thing because uh, uh, I can't craft and build at the same time. So I definitely have to get um, not necessarily at maximum energy. Oh yeah, I, wow! I'm gonna have to really start producing these things. Wow, that's gonna be something else. Uh, mechanical speed, we need electric motors, which are relatively simple, inventory capacity, and all sorts of good stuff. But anyways, uh, I'm going to look, all this, look at all this stuff uh, between now and the next episode and figure out where we're going to go and what's going to be involved. But with that, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.